everybody. I'm Brian Julius. I'm the Chief Content Manager for Enterprise DNA and just wanted to provide you a brief introduction to today's video. We recently released what we think is an outstanding course on Tabular Editor 3, um, free to members on the Enterprise DNA platform, and it's soon going to be available on Udemy. And we just wanted to provide a free excerpt um, from that course today. Um, the excerpt we're providing focuses on creation of KPIs within Tabular Editor. It's not one of the more commonly known features, but we think it stands alone as really good technical content and provides you insight into a feature you may not have explored before. So Antrik Sharma, our um, enterprise DNA expert, uh, Microsoft super user, and the author of the outstanding antmanbi.com blog, um, put this course together and is gonna walk you through the KPI portion today. So thanks for watching, and we really encourage you to check out the full content of the course that we'll put in the comment section in the link below. So as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. All right, so in this video, let's take a look at how we can create KPI with the help of Tabular Writer. So as you can see on the screen, I have a matrix which has the month name on the rows. Then I have my total sales measure and an average sales measure that, ba that basically computes the average sales of that given year. And then you can see that I have a KPI which shows green for the first row because in that row, the total sales is actually greater than the average sale. But in the second row, the total sales is not actually greater than the average sales. That's why we get a red sign. And similarly, for March, we get a green and April, we get a red. So let's get started and see how we can actually set up a report inside Tabular Writer and how we can actually create KPIs by using Tabular Writer. So let's begin by creating our average sales measure and I can right click and choose the new option of new measure and I'm going to write average sales two. and here I'm going to write calculate over the average X and then I'm going to use values, dates, month, name and then in the row context I'm going to call my total sales measure so that it can iterate and then calculate the average of that given year and I want to use an all except calculate modifier so that I can remove the filter from all the columns of the date table except for the dates calendar year number and if I close that and click on enter I can drag and drop this measure into the matrix and you can see that I get uh, an average for each cell of that visual and by using that we can actually create our own KPI so let's go to tabular writer so that we can create the KPI so to create a KPI I'm actually using the version 3.0.8 of tabular writer because the version 3.0.9 and 3.0.10 actually contain a bug related to KPI and whenever I tried to KPI in that versions, I was actually getting an error and Tabular Writer was actually crashing. So that's why I had to reinstall an older version. And let's see how we can create a KPI. And the first thing that we need to do is right click on any measure that we want to convert into a KPI. So in this case, we can use the total sales measure. So let's, so let's right click and then click on create KPI. And let's close or minimize the properties window. So here you can see that we have three options status target and trend so first of all let's declare the target expression and in here i'm going to call my average sales measure and then let's declare the status expression and here i'm going to write a dax code that will be if the total sales is greater than the average sales then i want one and in case if it is not greater than average sales then i want a minus one and we are going to use that one and minus one to show some kind of traffic light or any kind of arrow or animation inside that matrix so let's click on confirm and press ctrl s so that that can be committed to the model and if i go back to power bi you can see that we get a animation or a, a kind of trend line in front of the total sales measure so if i remove the value you can see that we have an arrow and if i drag the value measure into the matrix you can see that i get my total sales and in case if i drag the goal i get my average sales and let's drag the status as well. So in the first row, we get one because the total sales is actually greater than the average sales. But in the next row, we get minus one because in this case, in February, the average sales is not actually, sorry, the sales is not actually greater than the average sales. And similarly for March, we are getting one because the, the sales is actually greater than the average sales. Now let's see how we can actually convert these minus one and one into a shape. So let's go back to tabular writer. And in the properties pane, you would find something like status graphic. 
So let's click on the drop down and first of all, let's choose the road signs just to test what we are actually getting. And if I go back to Power BI, you can see that for one, I'm getting a green sign for the months where the sales is actually less than the average sale, I get a red sign and let's test any other sign as well. So I can choose something like traffic light. So let's find that. So let's click on that, press control S. And if I go back to Power BI, you can see that I get a traffic light shape inside my matrix. And now also let's find out a way to show, to actually hide the KPI in case if the total sales is actually blank. So first of all, let's start by fixing the average sales measure. So I can click on that and I'm going to introduce an if statement that will simply check that the total sales should be greater than zero or you can also check against the blank and I can indent this code and let's close the bracket for if and if I confirm that you can see that now average sales and the goal part is actually returning a blank for months onward June and we can go to tabular writer so that we can similarly write a similar code so that we can fix the KPI. So let's go back and here I'm going to write that the total sales should be greater than zero and let's write another if statement and let's resize the properties window. So here I'm going to indent my code and let's introduce another bracket and it looks okay. So let's click on control S and we can go back to Power BI and now you can see that we only see the KPI for the months where there is at least the total sales and in case if the total sales is greater than the average sales, we get a green. Otherwise, we are returning a red sign and in case if the total sales actually matches with the average sales, then we might actually get a yellow as well. But in this case, unfortunately, the total sales doesn't actually matches with the average sales. So that was how you can actually create KPIs by using Tabular Writer and I will see you in the next video.